Well, things are a little different now, but I can just prop it and uh, you don't have to worry about the lat right there. I have a different chair because uh, the that one was a cheap piece of shit that I, you know, I just kind of lean backward and I just fall on my ass, so threw that thing away. And I, you know, I, for a little bit I looked like the human thumb. But anyways, uh, the update's out. This game's not opening. The game's not... 32 bits? 16 bits? There we go. Oh no! Test manager, help me! Okay, now it... Now it works. <laughs> that was fucking weird. Well, actually I can do it in-game. Sound effects. <laughs> Alright, everything should be good. Extras. Updates. Update to record. Da -da -da. Gallery. Lewd. There's two more. <laughs> Will Trish finally sit on my face? Let's find out. Oh boy, we're gonna see how long this video is gonna end up being. Bonus chapters. What the fuck have you people been doing? Oh lord. January. Were these sounds there before? Uh, uh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Lord. And there they are. The gang. Yeah. Oh, the absolute lads. Did you know on Adobe Premiere you can't use WebMs or MKVs? Could that possibly be? Look at these little animations they put in. Oh. You know what? I'm just going to reread the whole thing, actually. January 6, year 201 M, 2020 BC. Locadera Bluffs. Weather conditions, cold as balls. It's my first time living close to water. The idea of marine layer is new to me. But I do understand morning mist. This was like it, except infinitely more shitty. Heavy fog makes navigating to my new school more difficult as I fail to see anything five feet in front of me. Like a run of a tree planted in the sidewalk I, that I swerve to avoid. It's my first time having to walk to school too. My new apartment is in an awkward spot opposite side of town, yet, yet no school or public bus to take me from there. Also my chair doesn't really squeak, which thank fuck. It's my first day at a new school. The second half of the first semester of senior year. I had six months left at my old school. I can't even imagine the kind of hell those six months would have been. But this? I should take my mind off of it. This phone is resilient, by the way. When I drop it off of the top of the computer like a dumbass. I whip out my phone and consider the best way to make people upset online. 
Uh, the thread goes 404 right as I'm ready to post my well-thought-out reply. Better hide my phone before someone sees, it, sees fit to take it from me. The only human around town, I think. It's the sound that reach me, reach, it's the sounds that reach me first. The chatter of people milling about. Bro, it's been too long. So it was only three weeks. Make, the fog shrouding gives the school an ominous vibe, ominous vibe to it. I look at the name written on the arc over the entrance. Volcano High. Perfect setting for a horror game, or maybe a shitty wad. The attempt at humor humoring myself just made me feel more alone. A check of my phone says I'm 30 minutes early. Wonderful. I move to the entrance only to see all of the steps occupied by students. Their eyes turn to me, expressions of confusion and contemplation. I can feel their judging stares, the same that had haunted me for four months previous. I can already picture what they're thinking. Dude, check it out. Is that a skinny? Where's his spear? Aren't they all like spear checkers or something? Betty eats his own con. They probably see me as some kind of circus attraction and nothing more. <laughs> I'm the freak show among the cereal box mascot crowd. Taking acid is not nearly as colorful as going to Volcano High. I should write that down. As I write, write that down on my phone's note app, I notice the surrounding students stop looking at me, which is good. I can peep around the friend circles without a problem now. Not like I'll ever be a part of one anyway. Talk about wanting to stand out. I never thought it was possible to look like you were from a black and white 20s cartoon. She does differ from the other Technicolor students, though. In the worst way possible. Oh yeah, she, she's staring at me. With that look. Fucking hell. Has she ever seen a human in her life? I fucking hate that look. Contempt. Judging. Everyone that has looked at me li like that never proved to be anything more than an asshole. Like I'm the anomaly here, she's just as dumb and insufferable as the rest of them. She's probably no better than me. Miss my snout is so big I can land a plane on it. Go back to your friends. Huh. She did. I feel like I should say something. I noticed that all this time my, were, my knees were weak and my arms were heavy. The fact my feet carry me over the soggy grass as I look for somewhere else to be. Shit! God damn it! Well, the thing, well, I can lower my chair, at least, so I can just, I think it's better to have it down here, basically. On the side of the building is where I find sanctuary. My sanctuary. My sanctuary. It's a small alcove of sorts. The pavement is cracked to bits and the shrubs surrounding it are overgrown. Even the bench, cracked paint on rotted wood held between two concrete logs, legs, matched the abandoned vibe of the place. It was perfect. I flop down on the wet bench and the violent crack of, from it makes my heart drop. Sure does. <laughs> Almost perfect, but good enough. I feel a tightness in my chest and my lungs fight to draw air in. Head in my hands, I can fully understand what I've done now. 
Six months in a new school. A year on my own in some run-down apartment in a town I know nothing about. All on my own. Three weeks. It took a day for me to want to change schools, and there were th and three weeks to make it happen. And this is my life now for the next year. I think back to my old man's ultimatum. Once the lease is done, either college or the surface service, I don't care which. Would you happen to be Annam? I look up. The bench broke down. I lay on the ground, ass hurt from hitting jagged concrete and splintered wood. Thank God for jeans. Oh my goodness, are you okay? I groan. Never better. I instinctively apply my chill guy facade in the presence of strangers to hide how uneasy I am today. A hand is held over my face. In my pain addled confusion, I shake it. Naser. Right, right. The hand tightens around my own and pulls roughly. The force is enough for my feet to get under me, stumbling back up to stand before I stand before the pair of strangers. It also felt like enough force to pull my arm out of its socket. So. You're Annan, yeah? Glad we found you. Who are you guys? Why do you know my name? Where are my manners? My name is Naomi, student council president and your guide. It's my sincere pleasure to make your acquaintance, Annan. Uh, we're your welcoming committee. Okay then. Is that really necessary? I had this prepared just for you. The orange one, Naomi, hands me a brochure. Volcano high in you. A new beginning to adulthood. The title alone makes me gag. The pink one, Naomi, looks at me expectantly. The brochure is full of the typical for trivialities. College prep, financial assistance, and after school programs. None of it matters. Babe, I've got some things to take care of. Nazar looks back to the school entrance. I follow his eyes and see some people trying to lift a large speaker up to the stairs of the school. Oh. I'll see you at lunch, right, Nazar? She looks dejected. Chuckles, of course. Did I really just say chuckles? Unlike Sonic? Nazar <laughs> Pulls her into a hug and nudges his muzzle against hers. Is that how dinos kiss? He leaves, run, running quickly to assist with the heavy sound equipment. Ahem. I turn back to Naomi. She smiles again. Those are is a plasticity to it. I think this is new. Her mouth opening. I just noticed that. I, I don't think that did that before. So why did you transfer here? The question catches me off guard. I freeze like a deer caught in headlights, scrambling to cover, come up with any plausible answer. I don't think we ever did find out why exactly he did transfer here. So that, so if there is new content, uh, I will probably find that out. It's an innocent question. She she can't have known, could she? Was, did he have to go through the like the same thing that Trish did to him? Like, is that why? Like, did somebody else do the same shit to him? What did Mom and Pop put in the transfer request form when they shipped my ass here? I think yeah. I think there's some new dialogue here. Uh, I. Uh, I don't like anime. What are you talking about? I, I never photoshopped a Luna next to me in a in a prom dress. No, no. <laughs> what, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Yeah, her face her face is 
looking to the side now uh, that I'm looking at her. I focus my attention on the brochure out of a bit. Um, dab, 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 that's all, folks. Out of embarrassment. Lunch, right. I'm getting kind of hungry. What about something to eat? Yada, yada, herbivore, vegan, tofu, disgusting. <laughs> I don't remember some of this dialogue. Wait, hold on. Carnivore line? Filet mignon? What the fuck is wrong with this school? Is there a soup kitchen or something around here? Oh dear. Are you in need of financial assistance? I can figure things out on my own. Don't worry too much about it. Oh, the school has here has programs to help its le its less fortunate students. The principal here is great. Come on, I'll take you to him. The absolute last thing I want to be doing is asking for handouts. Actually, I uh, Naomi grabs my hand and. The alarms. Yeah, they changed the alarms, I guess. Alert! Alert! DEFCON Level 1! DEFCON Level 1! Female making physical contact! Do not panic! Do not panic! Get a grip on the situation! Stop spilling your spaghetti all over the ground! This is Naomi! She's taking me somewhere by the hand, 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 hand. What the fuck? She already has a boyfriend, doesn't she? Is there a Naomi route now? I mean... This... That's what Spongebob does. Wait. She already has a boyfriend. Never mind. Don't worry about it, fam. I'm safe. Okay, okay, just stay silent. <laughs> Don't make a mess of things. Oh, Lord. It's so soft and smooth and surprisingly warm for scales. How lewd. Day one and I've already fallen to such depraved lows as I had holding. You, you, got, you gotta blur it out, man. You gotta blur, blur the hands holding. Here we are, Annan. Principal Spears should be able to help with your money situation. Who you what? Oh, right. Naomi knocks on the door. State your business. A lot of new shit, huh? The new student needs financial help, Principal Spears. Lend him, in a, lend him a five? <laughs> what the fuck? What an asshole. <laughs> I think he means the loan program, sir. <laughs> Tell him to come in later. I'm dealing with another student. <laughs> the fucking hell do you mean I have to clean up after? Tisk tisk. Yeah, she had like a, like a, fucking resting bitch face for a second there, just like. Mm hmm. Yeah. The orange pair of whatever expression quickly changes from whatever that was to the same smile she she's had up until now. Wait a minute, can I go back? Oh, oh, page up. Yeah, see, resting bitch face. Hmm. Well, Anna, why don't I show you to class? Homeroom should be starting that soon. Right, homeroom. I take out my crumpled schedule from my pocket. Naomi takes the slip from me and blows my eardrums out with a six quit squeal capable of shattering glass. We share first period in English together. Come on, I'll introduce you to the class and you'll be able to make all sorts of new friends. Yeah, yeah it seems to be structured a little bit differently so far. Yay me. So I guess you're you're good with that. 
there's merit to having like like both versions the version that I had before this and these new versions both downloaded to see how uh, how different the story structured Be because there's little things here and there I follow after her to a classroom on the second floor the seats were being filled with students I take one near the front knowing I'll have to introduce myself I'll probably be doing that for all my classes fuck my life The artificial ring of a bell blares from a speaker on the wall. With it, everyone waits as the teacher finally enters the room and shuts the door. Ohio Grasso. Today you have the new Grasso Naomi Carson makes a subtle nod up. Oh, oh right. I have to introduce myself. I stand from my seat and face the class. Once again, all eyes on me and the tightness in my chest returns. I inhale deep, willing my erratic heart to slow. Hey. Again those eyes, just like three weeks ago. My name is Annan. I, uh... Just like every day for the past four months. I don't really have any hobbies. Uh, I wanted to flee. There's these new sound effects going on. Hide away. Anything to avoid those judging eyes. What was your old school like? My throat clenches. I think back again to it all. Uh... There's whispers now. The hushed tones, silent snickers, blending in with, with the ever-present stares. My heart hammers at, at my chest, and I'm sure that they all can hear it. See the cold chill racing over me. And in Kun, you answers that. You don't have to answer that. His words snap me out of my trance. Only Naomi was looking at me. The rest were preoccupied. Either talking about their winter break or catching up on sleep. They've all been ignoring me the, the entire time. Yoshito. Hi, <laughs> <Ay>, now Kurasu. <laughs> this was nothing like my Japanese enemies. Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Mr. Suki continued on, drawing what little attention there was to himself. I sat down, finally feeling the blood that had caught in my legs rush up, leaving me lightheaded. And I probably have to do this for each class today? Double fuck my life. Awkward introduction after awkward introduction, classmates that couldn't care less kept me anxious the whole morning. And there's still the rest of the day to go. Eventually, lunch comes around. All the edible stuff was is well outside my price range for a, for a fucking free, so I settled for a pseudo-pizza. The kind that becomes a viable weapon if you leave it alone for ten minutes. No time to waste after exiting a line. I scan the lunchroom, the lunchroom for an open seat. I thought I had found a decent spot in the corner when disaster struck. Said disaster was a hand grabbing my shoulder and turning me about. How rude. What a rude bastard. My plate of pizza shaped cardboard threatened to smear across my shirt. I fought the momentum of the tray until the hand that had spun me stabilized it and me. It's like, it's like at a Spider-Man <laughs> when he catches everything in his hand. 
Whoa there, nearly dropped your food. Yeah, whose fault is that? Not mine. Yours? I swear that I swear to all that is good and holy. Wanna sit with us? What? Wanna sit with Naomi and me, since you're new and all. He points to a table where the living pink sugar rush is waving. God damn it. I don't wanna make a scene. Sure. Before I even sit down, the barrage of questions begins. So, what do you think of Big Volcano? Hi! How about your classes? You seem... I just nod along and starting not to pay attention. You looking forward to the rest of the day? Not really. All these introductions, you know? I get you. How to talk to people you don't know, right? Something like that, yeah. Well, last period I tripped in front of everyone. Talk about a first impression. I don't think they'd care too much. Have you had any trouble since then? Do you have enough money or food for food today? Oh, you're short... Oh, you're short on food money then, man. <laughs> Misreading shit. Not really, just got to sign up for some handouts. Naomi is starting to look disappointed I'm only picking up on Nazar's interjections. <laughs> if you need a bit more extra chow, there's going to be free refreshments at my, uh, my sis, uh, at Fang's concert after school today. Your what? Fang. Your brother or sibling? What? Fang's gonna have some extra pizzas for the show. You could take some home. Uh, I don't know about concerts. Not really one for public events like that. Alright, man, just thought you could use a few opportunities to make friends. What was that? I'll assume that wasn't meant to be malicious. I'll, I'll consider it. Hey, don't leave me out of the conversation. <laughs> How about I help you pick out some cheap food after school? I know some great vegan shops in the area. My stomach rolls, roils at the fee word. Maybe some other time, sorry. So about that concert, Nazer. Dinner and a show? Sign me the fuck up. So what do they play? Music. Music. Yeah, yeah, just... It's music, I guess. What kind? What kind you listen to? Oh, what genre is it? Come on, man. Give me details. The good kind. You don't know, do you? No. Well, free food is free food. I look at my pizza, noticing something is wrong. I test it with my plastic spork that you hold up when you have an announcement to make. And watch the cheap utensil shatter to bits. I curse life for a third time today. <laughs> the dreaded 10 minute mark is past, rendering my pizza only useful as building material. Abestus pizza. It's a, it's a combination. It's a combination, you know. Oh dear, Nazar, why don't you split your sandwich with them? But it's mine. This is my sandwich. Nobody else's. We can split my vegan TLT. <laughs> Tofu lettuce tomato. <laughs> <coughs> That he is. Nazar shudders and looks at his own footlong filly sub longingly. Sure thing, babe. <laughs> he tears the sandwich in two and hands me the larger half. Here, Anna. The sandwich man. I will never forget your brave sacrifice. With that, we all dig into our meal. Thank you for the food. Oh, so good. <laughs> after school. My class is after lunch were the same as before it. 
By now I had a rehearsed introduction that only the teacher cared about. My classmates were disinterested and, and I would sit down to be forgotten. I hope the rest of the year is just like that. I just want to skate through it all. All that's left for today is the concert and dinner. I wait outside the auditorium entrance with Nazer, who is checking his phone for messages. Right, Fang says the show is starting in a bit, see? Nazer turns the screen to me. The pizza's here. And you gotta face those dreaded, dreaded stairs. You can have a slice, but after that you get the fuck out. <laughs> Like Franklin, Franklin W. Roosevelt. Nah. Fucked wing retard. But that's it. You caused that, you bitch. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Damn, Fang. You're the one who caused that. <laughs> and you're gonna insult him for it. What the fuck? I don't know if I want her to be my wafu anymore. Fang's words, not mine. Is your uh, sibling always like this? Fang's... I wait for him to continue. Well, uh, I'm in kinda... Glad I'm an only child. Nazer glares at me. Fang's still family. Just saying is all. Nazer deflates. You're good, Annan. And yeah, they're family, but Fang's just so... Difficult? Yes, difficult. And I don't know why. Sounds rough. Sounds rough. It is. Like I know they care, but Fang doesn't want to be around me. Finally the door opens and I smell the cheesy, heart-clogging goodness within. Mm -mm. Sweet, come on, Annan. Caveman of a man holds open the door for everyone. The theme of spears. Your heart will drop when you hear it. His massive hand stops me. Uh, yes? I'm glad I'm guided to the side, away from the crowd that's filtering into the auditorium. So how are you feeling about our lovely school, Annan? Uh, it's the spear-shaped pen on his lapel that reads Principal that informs me of who this giant is. Oh, it's, uh, it's nice. Cleaner than my old school. Ego falls and slaps his chest. You think, you can thank your classmates for that. <laughs> yeah. Student labor. What? Go. Enjoy the sh Now go. Enjoy the show. Yes, sir. Oh, I do need you to come by my office tomorrow for some paperwork. I nod and go back to the door where Nazar is standing, holding it open for the last of the audience to go inside. Nazer leads me and the large crowd into the shitty school theater. The foyer has tables with boxes of pizza stacked taller than me. Yeah, now you can actually see the pizzas there. You can take a couple boxes after, Anna, and that should help you out. Who the hell got all these anyway? I did. He t I take a box down from the stack. Others have already started stacking their plates. I check the logo on the box. Now I get it. it. It all comes full. When you play something again, or when you watch a movie again, little details at like the beginning of the movie, it all it all comes full circle, you know. And to get so many larges from Dynamo's Pizza, that's a couple hundred bucks, though. Eh, about a month's, month's allowance. A month? That explains that disaster of a jacket. 
So about the actual show. I'll check on them. Be right back. Left on my own stack, I, I stack my plate up with some quality greased top delight. I lean against the wall, chewing bits of Supreme and observing the rest of the crowd. Another shit show. She's so stupid. They even bother. Bunch of losers. Everyone shares the same sentiment. So why the hell did they even show up for this? Nazar finally comes back and opens the door to the main hall. The crowd moves in, though I hang back so I can talk with Nazar. What's with them, Nazar? What do you mean? The crowd, they were talking mad shit. What? Nazar grasps at the air, unsure of what to think or do at the moment. I think he's angry. Really? Yeah, this, this was in the trailer. These little extra animations. Whoa, whoa! I should have known. What are you talking about, man? I brought them here so Fang has an audience. Oh, that's not a good idea. Nazar's phone rings. He moves aside to answer it. <laughs> Whoa! Bad words. The voice on the other end is loud and shrill. Yeah. I... Oh, by the way, uh, the game got removed off of Itch.io. <laughs> I think what happened is that Itch.io looked at this game and was like, parody is allowed under U.S. law and all that shit, but the fact that there's even a possibility, a waft even, of a possible lawsuit by Sony or co-op or, or, or whatever for this game being on our servers, we don't want none of that, so we're getting rid of it. But you can still directly download the game from the Snoop Game website, so it's all good at the end of the day. Bad words. He holds the phone away from his ear to save his eardrum. Okay, okay. The call ends and Nazer sags. I gotta leave. Seriously? Yeah, Feng doesn't want me here. Said I'll ruin the show. Harsh. Look, whatever happens, promise you won't hold this against them. They're actually a really nice person once you get to know them. Nazar, why did you just murder the English language in cold blood? Well, then I see the rest of the audience huddled in groups around a tiny snack tables. Even went to the trouble of switching out the seats for them. Naomi said it'd help. With a huff, Nazar turns away, begrudgingly leaving the auditorium. I enter the hall and take a seat in the back, away from the rest of the crowd. The lights dim and the cur curtains are drawn open. On stage is a trio of people my age. I think Fang is the drummer? He doesn't look related to Nazar. Maybe it's the main front woman. That must be Nazar's sister. W uh, then why the whole confusion over her sex? For fuck's sake. What an idiot. I'm just getting thrown away at round today. I don't know. She looks familiar. The band doesn't bother introducing themselves. Instead, the purple one begins plucking her bass. It all went tumbling, tumbling, tumbling down. And you just keep letting me, letting me, letting me down. It all went tumbling down from there. What I thought was a guitar sounded horrifically wrong. Far too heavy. The lead guitarist was using a fucking bass. What the fuck? And then the vocals kicked in. Its horrific screeching, combined with the uh, a metalist shredding on a bass, created a cacophony equal to hundreds of cats ritualistically sacrificed. I felt the urge to cover my ears. I wonder what the bald music man would think of this. Uh. 
I don't know too much about music, but even I know that you don't use two basses in one band, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Oh no, boy! Oh god! What were they thinking? I love doing that. I love saying that. I mean, really. What were they thinking? Who thought this was a good idea? I mean, really. I looked back to the crowd to gauge their interest. Surely I'm not alone in thinking this is an absolute travesty. <laughs> they still fucking suck. <laughs> Time for another extinction event. That includes you, you do realize that, right? Tumblersaurus Rex. The crowd was standing, jeering and laughing with whoever said that. More words were said, but the laughter eclipsed them in the music. What happened to the music? On stage, the trio looked panicked. The drummer was inching off stage while the purple bassist was about to break down into tears. But the front woman stood there, stood her ground. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh yeah, they did change the seats, huh? Oh lord. <laughs> Laughing dinosaur women! I can't escape it! Oh, look at this nerd. Look at him. What a nerd. Oh, and here he is in the corner, I guess. Fuck you. She tossed her base aside, raising both hands and proudly displaying a finger on each of them. Yeah, fuck you guys. Fuck all of you. No one want to fuck you, bitch. That struck a chord with her. Uh, the smell of their clubhouse. I watch as she grabs her bass and takes the arm of the purple one rushing off stage with a pink drummer. I can't take this. I'm going to grow a six pack from laughing so much. I'm just going to grab my pizza and leave. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. Boy. Boy. Boy, if you don't. I turn towards the door and see Principal Spears, a fierce glare freezing me in place. And... Oh, fuck. His voice is even more stern than this morning. Yes, sir. He looks to the crowd and then to me. I don't want to hear about any of this coming to tomorrow. I expect some goddamn maturity from you. You'll be an adult once you graduate. Uh, why me though? Why am I gonna be an adult? I, I've taught many students, and I can tell these things. His hand lands on my shoulder. Its grip was firm as it weighed on me. Listen here, Annan. You're not the only person in the world. Everyone's fighting their own battles. The hand squeezes before pushing me towards the door. I want to see you in my office first thing tomorrow. Now get out of here. This is the only warning that you'll get from me. Next time it'll be campus cleanup. I'd rather do winter wrap up, to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's terrible. Behind me, the principal's voice shakes the room. Who's sorry ass am I gonna have the suplex? <laughs> I don't think that was there before him doing that. Back in the foyer, I see some boxes of partially finished pizza left. I consolidate them all into a pair of boxes and make my exit. The sun is starting to set now as I make my way home. You're not the only person in the world. 
Like, I don't already know that. There's, like, the classmates that all ignored me today. Naomi's annoying ass. That fucking caveman of a principal. Nazer, who's been an absolute bro. Nazer sis. Oh, shit. The next day. Don't take me back. I think I had to get up at like 6 o'clock for the bus. Like, holy shit. Ugh. Don't take me back. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. 